All right, I am here with Miles Bryant, and we're gonna be talking about an upcoming fight. Um, really exciting stuff. Miles, I don't wanna steal any of your thunder, so for the people tuning in and checking this out, go ahead and, and tell us what do we have going on. So um, I'll be, big news, I'll be fighting December 4th in uh, Lexington, Kentucky. Um, this will be my third amateur fight. Um, I just fought, what was it, like two and a half, three weeks ago, if that. Um, finished a guy in, in a minute, in about 30 seconds. Uh, walked out of there with no injuries, healthy as a horse. So um, I was presented a fight offer from B2. Um, and just given from what happened a few weeks ago and me being really healthy and still good on weight and everything like that, I just figured, you know, why not get three fights in a year, um, you know, and end the year with a bang. So. So let's talk about the first fight you ever had. You know, you were caught, you, mm -hmm. you experienced defeat, and that's, you know, that's a difficult start to your amateur career, but then you went in your second bout, you performed, you know, much better. You were able to implement your game plan. You were able to secure a takedown, finish with some violent <laughs> ground and pound. So you've seen both yeah. sides. You, you've had the victory. You've tasted the defeat. Mm -hmm. What are the feelings and nerves like leading up to this next fight? Leading up to this next fight, um, I'm just more excited than ever. Um, I genuinely feel like I needed that first loss to kind of just wake me up and just you know this is real um leading into my second fight i was a lot more comfortable i didn't have to cut you know half my body and weight um so therefore i was fighting healthy as well and um going into this one i'm much more confident especially after my performance um a few weeks ago um i feel like i only displayed just a tiny bit of my capability in that minute and 45 whatever it was so um just going into this one i'm just excited i'm um ready to just get after it and uh get another win so so you're gonna be fighting again for b2 which i mean really we've been blown away by their league but talk a little bit about what it's like to compete for b2 you know they almost give you like the high-end experience at an amateur league uh b2 i love b2 and i uh honestly um fighting for b2 twice i kind of don't i actually know i don't want to fight for any other promotion uh b2 is amazing their staff is just they're so great to us they love our gym they show us the utmost respect anytime we do come in, whether it's me fighting or any other of my teammates. Um, so, but B2 is just the premier fighting organization um, in the country, I feel like, especially with Amis and professionals. Um, they have shows li literally every single week, so they give people many opportunities to showcase their talents and whatnot. So um, B2 is great. I love them. Um, I just want, I want to keep competing for them and uh, keep, the, keep the ball rolling. And for the people that are looking at Miles in this interview and be like, man, why is he sweating? Is he nervous for this interview? He actually just got done with an hour of sparring. He's, he's got an hour of sparring in, and we, we jumped in the lab to shoot this video here real quick. Miles, you know, for the people that don't really know what your goals are in this sport, like what are you trying to do? Are you trying to be a successful amateur? Do you want to go pro one day? Do you want to be the yeah. next Kamaru Usman? Let's talk um, about it. I well, With this MMA career, I just started. Well, not just started, but I've been training for about four and a half, five years. Um, I want to legitimately smash every other single opponent of mine um, throughout the amateur career, whether if that's you know five, ten more fights. Um, I want to I want to um, implicate just utmost dominance and then transition that into my um, professional um, career. Um, I want to make it to the top. Uh, I want to be one of these UFC athletes here at the gym to just kind of motivate the younger upcoming athletes. Um, to be that that role model for anybody else and just to keep going and keep striving. So um, the sky's the limit. Um, this is just the beginning. Um, if it's my third amateur fight, we're going to keep pushing and keep, and keep going, and then um, everything will take care of itself. So with no disrespect to your opponent, you know, do, do you see this fight going any certain way? You got to see a tiny bit of information on him, but no real fight footage, no real training footage. All we know is he's a D1, you know, athlete, or I don't know if he's D1, but he's a college rugby mm -hmm. player, you know, super athletic guy, he's a personal trainer. So he's going to bring the fitness and athleticism to the table. You know, is there any any feelings you have about the opponent matchup or uh, are you focused on yourself? Not at all. I'm focused on myself more than um more than ever, um, I just need to go in there with a straight mind and a powerful soul, in a sense, um, and just fight my fight. That's the biggest thing that I've been telling myself lately, especially my last fight, is to just fight my fight. Um, with that meaning, fighting smart, um, using all my tools, and just, if there's an opportunity that shows, take it whenever I can, like I did the last one. Um, we haven't seen too much on this guy, um, however, that's that's perfectly fine. There's a lot of athletes who, you know, there's no film on, you can't really study them. So in, um, all in all, I'm just going to go in there, I'm going to take what he gives me, and um, we're just going to go from there. So. 
Well, awesome. So uh, one more time, give the date, the information for everybody that you know so they can tune in and then uh, we'll wrap this video up. Yep, so uh, Fighting for P2, December 4th in Lexington, Kentucky, um, uh, with a fellow teammate of mine, I won't say any names, but uh, we're going to go down there and handle some business, and we're, we're going to head home. So. Sounds great, man. Well, thank you for joining us today, and we'll wrap this video up. Yes, sir.